Are Somalis or Cushitic people black? This has been a question that has caused a lot of controversy and so me as someone who studies North, ancient Northeast African populations and knows a lot of people who also study them, I think the answer that I give will be very sufficient and beneficial to this argument. And so the short answer is yes. The long answer is it depends on the sense of what, do, what are we using as the criteria for what we call black and who exactly would fit that criteria exactly many cultures in africa didn't actually we didn't actually call ourselves black until the recent times this is something this is an outside label that you know europeans created to um you know use on us i wouldn't necessarily say it's something that is new necessarily like you know the term ethiopian which means you know land of the burnt faces has been also used to refer to africa by the greeks back in ancient times so i would i don't want to bring in that um that idea that before the 1800s or whenever like modern racism came like you know um people didn't see color obviously that's not true we always know in color when it comes to the case of Cushitic people and whether we're gonna call these people black or not we should acknowledge this by you know acknowledging that you know black is a racial term that Cushitic people Nilotic people Bantu people we didn't we never use this term to call ourselves for the most part most um populations don't never use this term to refer to each other we always refer to each other by our ethnic group and our ethnic background and our culture and our clan and our family lineages never by the skin color but you know obviously when it comes to the global scale you know things may change you know on the global scale obviously like we can definitely see like our average you know the african the sub-saharan african the Nilotes, the Kush the Kushites or the Kushitics, and um the Bantus are darker skinned than most people. Um, but using, you know, Somalis as a reference for all Kushitic populations because Somalis are a are a good reference. So we'll be using this for a reference, and is that basically there are a mixture of ancient Nilotic populations and ancient Eurasian um and north african populations so when actually looking at the somali genome you can see that they're actually 60 percent indigenous east african and you know many studies such as shriner et al have suggested that the Cushitic people are not actually from a um split they, they didn't diverge from a split of ancestry they they came into existence through a mixture of different ancestries so like i said the omotic nilotic and ancient north african and eurasian ancestries and so um for looking at the somali genome they are like 15 percent north african which is an ancient north african part which is related to natufians it dates back to an ancient population that was ancestral to the iberian cultures and the natufian cultures of north africa and the middle east and then there are 25 percent eurasian or west asian so you know according to the modern standard like technically yeah they are african they're just like mixed people you know in america in the western world we'd call mixed people black or whatever you know according to other rules such as like the one drop rule tech yeah they're black as well but you know things can get kind of tricky because you know we all have, we all we have all heard about the hermetic theory and actually you know when looking at the, the earliest cushitic populations which um lived in nubia you know uh, a lot of their skulls even the cushitic populations today i think the skulls are usually identified as as caucasoid they usually are get described as Caucasoid skulls, Caucasoid features. And these are the terms that anthropologists actually use, you know, when they, whenever doing craniometric analysis on um, these Cushitic speaking populations who are obviously like a mix that I've said. So um, basically to end off this video, I'm going to state this in this uh, reading that I've seen. And it's basically that um, anthropologists have invented the ingenuous covenant fictional notion of the true Negro which allows them to consider, if need be, the all real Negroes on earth as fake Negroes, more or less approaching a kind of platonic archetype without ever attaining it. Thus, African history is full of Negroids, Hamites, Semihemites, Nilo-Hemites, Ethiopids, Sabaeans, and even Caucasoids. In vain, we look for the true Negro, the eminent cultural historian from Brazil, Gilberto, recognize the prevalence of these false Negroes all over Africa. So yeah, um, yeah, take this. I might not, I might re-record this video to be honest.